Hello everybody and welcome back to another day, day 41 of 100 days of code. We're getting closer, and, oh god I've just noticed I spell, made a spelling mistake, but we're getting closer to um, our goal of 100 days off code, or we're almost halfway there shall I say. Um, but anyway, so we've created this really simple uh, little app here. The, the whole point is this isn't for the cool app, although I've made a spelling mistake. Um, it's for the actual advanced topic we're about to talk about. And I call it advanced, but it's actually quite easy. It's it's just more advanced than what we normally do in Vue.js. So we're going to be talking about custom di directives, or in our case, we need to list let's go and let's go back into app and direct directives. Custom directives and custom directives, as you probably um, already know. So, a what a directive is. Let's go into what a directive is. So, a directive could be something like a fee for loop. Anything with a prefix of fee is a directive. So, this matter you could do a model fee model and say equal to something. You can do uh, there's fee model. There's like fee on, which is like binding a click function. Um, and all sorts of things. You can do all of this um, inside of Vue, and these are called directives. And in Vue, you can create your own custom directive. So you've got the basics ones like Vue on, um, Vue if, and Vue model, and stuff like that. But you can create your own custom advanced ones. So if you want to do custom things with your app, just like Futify. So if you've ever used Futify, they have custom directives. If you've noticed, you use stuff like. Um, uh, column container and stuff and that like we we would do something like a container and that would give us a container uh, for our um, our web component so it's kind of like that but doing actual directives instead of uh, attributes and in here we're going to go into main so we've got a naf and this section and what we want to do, we want to make this so we can add a directive on here called fee sticky. And all directives need to start off a fee sticky and then the name afterwards. So we've got this fee sticky, but at the minute that doesn't do anything because that isn't actually a thing. We're going to open up our console as well because we're going to want to, but I'm going to quickly pop this off so it's a separate, little separate window over here. Um, so that is 100%. Let's keep that 125 um, so yeah, it says here, fail to resolve directive sticky, and that is because it doesn't exist, but we can go into few now, so in our main.js, so for this to work, you need to make it global if you want it to be used everywhere, you could probably import it into here, I, I don't know, don't quote me on this, you could probably import few into here and sell it up in here to be a local one, but we're, there's not really many points to do local ones, let's do a few directive and then in here we're going to pass the name which is sticky we don't pass fee hyphen because that's just the prefix added to it automatically to declare it is a directive and in here we're going to pass some options or a an object and in this object we're going to have a method called bind and bind is going to take three arguments or three parameters and this is going to have l which is the element binding which is like the equal, so in here we could go sticky equal to or sticky. You can add modifiers, which is like dot light. You could have a, um, what's this one called? So we've got modifiers, um, which are the dots, and these ones are called arguments. So you could pass arguments through and all sorts. Um, binding, and then we've got something called fee node, but this one isn't really used. You can use it to get like child elements and stuff, but it's not really useful. You can also do that with the L element anyway. So now we're in here, we've got our few directive sticky. So now if we go back to our app, as you see, our error has disappeared because it now exists. What we want to make sticky do is so when you scroll, it sticks to the top, so it as you see, it disappears. So in our main, we can do something really simple. Let's go l l dot style dot, and then we can say position because we want to set its position equal to sticky, and then we want to say l dot style or l dot style dot top, and we want to set this equal to zero pixels. So now if we hit save and we go back into our app, let it refresh, and we scroll, as you can see, it's added the sticky directory. So if we remove fee sticky quickly, just to prove what happens, and we go back and we scroll, as you see, it doesn't stick. Now we could have fee sticky, 
and this creates a sticky directive. So that is a really cool way of doing uh, a simple directive. But now what happens if we want it to be stuck to the bottom? So we could add an argument called bottom using a semicolon to separate the name and the argument. And we could have this bottom and we want to stick it to bottom. So now let's take this code and let's wrap it in an if statement. So we could say if binding dot arg is equal to bottom. So now we can say if it's equal to the bottom, we do this, else we do our other code, which is stick it to the top. Because if it's nothing or if it's anything else which doesn't exist, then we're just going to set it to the top. And in here we can say bottom. And then in here we can say l.style.position. And for this one, we're going to sell it as fixed because it won't work else. And we're we'll going to l.style.bottom is equal to zero pixels. We also want to quickly set the width equal to 100% so it stretches the whole way across and let's hit save so now if we go back over here as you see it's now stuck to the bottom of the screen so just this is called so remember this argument here is passed in like that another thing we can do is add in a dot and we can call this light and that is called a modifier so you add, you could add multiple modifiers you could have light uh, I don't know text white and stuff like that with uh, but we'll just go stick with light and then we're going to say down at the bottom here we can say if binding dot modifiers and then we want to go dot light so if it exists then we can do this um, and we can say so if it's light we're going to say l dot style dot background is equal to and we can give it a color but we're going to give it even though i've said light we're going to give it an ee because else it's going to it's going to we won't be able to see the text uh so <laughs> maybe a bit darker although it's it's light all right it's still light anything in the letter range is light uh <laughs> so we've got a custom direct actually it's set to light now so we can also now remove light and it will go back to dark will it because we've just had an error if we hit refresh there we go, it goes back to dark. And if we if we add light back and we remove the uh, argument and we go back, as you can see, it's now light and at the top. So it's, oh, and because it, it's got sticky on, of course, it's uh, stick t stuck to the top without the bottom modifier. So we'll leave that like, we're going to remove the light because I just like the fee sticky bit. Uh, and we can hit refresh. And there you go. So that is one way of doing something. Another way is, so let's say we have this one. We've got a fee color. And we want to set the color of this to, um, we want to set the color to like red or something. We want to have custom colors. So we want to create a directive for what changes the color of a content. Uh, we could do fee color and we can set this equal to. And then we can pass in a value. And in the value, we, can, we can't just pass, let's say, red. Because this will then error saying this, because remember what feed us uh, directive actually takes in uh, your data or props variable. So it just takes in a variable that you set down here uh, in your script. So we actually, we could do that, but or we could just pass it in some single quotes too and pass in the color red. So now again, this isn't going to do anything. So we need to create this uh, directive and we can set the directive again. It's equal to color. Oh. And then in here, we want to bind L, binding, and fee node. And now in here, we can say uh, L dot style dot color is equal to binding dot value. Now, if we hit save and we go back to our, oh, we got an error. Uh, Fail to resolve color from directive view directive color. Sorry. Uh, where is that erroring? Oh, I put I accidentally put a dot instead of a um, comma. So now if we remove that and change it back to a color, as you can see, it's now red. And inside here, we can pass like hex code. We can pass RGBA, so we can we can pass any sort of value which uh, JavaScript can use to turn in things. So we're going to say we're going to set black using this method, but we're going to set it to it's really opaque or translucent transparent we hit refresh there you go it's now a black which is actually got a transparency to it uh, again we could pass hex codes such as ffc 0 0 we go back and we hit refresh boom we've got lorem ipsum dollar elite in the yellow color so again we could set any colors in here 
um, and it will change to that color. And that's really cool. That's enough way. So this is the foul you way of doing it. And this is, and then we have the modifiers or bottom, and then we have the no, we have modifiers, and then these called arguments. So if we go back, uh, we hit refresh. There we go. F thinks really backwards, but it works. So there we go. And that is one way of doing it. Um, other than this, I think um, that is really the main things you need to know how to create your own directory. So you could do some advanced things, and you could do more than just changing the style. You can, like, if it has a modifier, you can run a piece of code, some JavaScript, or anything like that, which will go off. You could set some sort of event that if it's got a click event and you you do this, then you could do some crazy things with it. Um, so this was quite a quick tutorial, but I think it went in, into some detail into what, what is what and how you do basically create your own custom directives. So just remember, this is global when we set in our main file, but if we set anywhere else which, is only ref, which isn't referenced everywhere, like uh, the main JS file, then it may only be um, local to that area or scoped in that area, or it might not even work at all. So remember, do it in your main.js file if you're using the CLI. Um, again, if you're using the uh, CDN or anything like that, then don't forget you can just add it into your main JS file there. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy the video, then leave it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, then hit that subscribe button. And as always, if you have any comments, drop it in the in the in the comments section or any feedback at all. I criticism is welcome as well. Anything constructive. If I did something wrong, if I mentioned something and it wasn't correct, then let me know in the comments. It helps me learn. It helps everyone else learn. And other than that, guys, if you do have comments but you don't want to drop it in the comment section, you can also come over to our Discord chat server and hit up the so link is in the description join us come speak to us meet new people talk to me talk to other developers and get involved in the community guys it's called the coding part it's pretty awesome don't forget to follow me on twitter that link is also in the description i leave updates i'm going to put a, post a video late or anything like that um other than that guys i hope you enjoyed this video and peace out